Hey space friend, as you may or may not know, I recently went camping on an alien planet and soon after I returned, I started having some of my ship systems taken control of by an unknown entity. Well, after something crawled out of my ear last night, probably after eating my brain for the last few weeks, I discovered I may have accidentally brought back a hyper-intelligent alien parasite. That can't be good. So today we're going to build a hyper-intelligent alien parasite detector using a couple of sensors to detect if there's anything abnormal in the area. We'll be using a Hall effect sensor in case it has a notable magnetic field, an MQ2 gas sensor in case it emits a noxious gas, and a laser sensor in case it has laser eyes. We've already worked with Hall effect sensors before, so let's just figure out how gas and laser sensors work. Oh, space dog, completely oblivious to the terrible danger we're in. The MQ2 gas sensor module can detect LPG, smoke, alcohol, propane, hydrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide concentrations in the air. It's a metal oxide semiconductor, which is also known as a chemiresistor, because it works by sensing the change in the resistance of the sensing material when it's exposed to a gas. It's really similar to the MQ3 alcohol sensor. For instance, it is also a heat-driven sensor that's covered in two layers of stainless steel mesh known as an anti-explosion network. This is how the sensor avoids causing an explosion when it's sensing flammable gases. The mesh also filters out non-gaseous particles. The sensor has four pins for ground, VCC, D0, and A0. It provides two different inputs, analog and digital. The A0 analog pin's output voltage varies in proportion to the concentration of smoke or gas. The higher the concentration, the higher the output voltage. The analog signal is digitized and outputs a binary value with the D0 pin. The module also includes a potentiometer to adjust the sensitivity. You can use this to set a threshold value so that the module outputs low when the gas concentration exceeds the threshold. If the threshold is not exceeded, the module will output a high value. Rotating the knob clockwise increases sensitivity and counterclockwise decreases it. The module also has two LEDs, one for status and one for power. The power LED illuminates when the module is turned on and the status LED illuminates when the threshold value is exceeded. A laser sensor is pretty straightforward. It is a digital sensor that detects the presence of lasers. The pins are VCC, ground, and the signal pin. For this project, we need a breadboard, an LED, a resistor, an MQ2 gas sensor, a laser sensor, a Hall effect sensor, and 14 jumper wires. We're creating integer variables for all of our sensors and the LED, as well as setting a threshold for the gas sensor. The threshold value can be changed after you do some testing to see what level it actually sets it off at. In my case, I might change it once I figure out just how much noxious gas this alien is outputting. In the loop, we are reading in the state of each sensor. We're using analog read for the gas sensor since that reading is going to vary, and then we're using digital read for the Hall effect sensor and laser sensor since that output will only be high or low. We don't want regular old gas or lasers or magnets to set off our LED alarm though. We only want to know if all three things are detected because that can only mean one thing. An alien parasite is nearby. So if the gas sensor's value is greater than the threshold, a laser is detected, and a magnetic field is detected, the LED will turn on. Otherwise, the LED will just stay off. Let's test this thing out. My code is uploaded, but the LED isn't coming on, which means there's no alien parasite around for now. This detection system is clearly flawless, so I'm going to be sure to keep this thing on me at all times until I find this alien and get it off my ship. <laughs> 